so I bring in PC1 uh, we go to global configurations that we are in global configurations uh, then interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 let me check again PC1 fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 the IP address will be 192.168.1.2 we assign 2 to this one 255.255.255.0 is the subnet uh, mask and we run the no shot command to bring the line up so it takes uh, a few seconds now the line is up uh, then I have to go to PC2 and PC3 at the same time so let's go to PC2 uh, interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 of PC2 let's check it again PC2 fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and PC3 also the same so here IP address will be 192.168.1.3255.255.255.0 and we bring this line up as well again it takes few seconds for the line to come up here is the line, the line up then next is PC3 here we go to uh, global configuration interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 will be 192.168.1.4 for this one 255.255.255.0 and uh, no shut down to bring the line up now this line is also up as you can see here change state to up okay so we are done with the assignment of IP addresses to these three routers router 1 so we have to go to router 2 now to assign IP addresses to that so global configurations interface uh, serial slash uh, 0 slash 0 IP address will be 200.100.10.2 because we assigned 1 to the first one to router 1 so 2 to router 2 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown the line is up uh, I go to the other interface interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address will be here the IP address is 192.168.2.0 this is the network address so I'm gonna assign 2.2 to my router here uh, 192.168.2.2 255.255.255.0 .255 and bring this line up so now my line is up here uh, let's go to my virtual machine uh, the, uh, the address that you have to assign to the address uh, to the network card of your virtual machine should be something in the same network uh, my virtual machine is not configured properly so that's why uh, I cannot have the whole screen in my screen uh, okay uh, look the IP address that I've assigned to my virtual machine is 192.168.2.0 20 and the default gateway is 192.168.2.2 so uh, I guess you have noticed that 192.168.2.2 my default gateway is the IP address of fa uh, fast Ethernet interface of router 2 so with this configuration now I should be able to ping the default gateway of uh, my computer meaning uh, the IP address of the router that I had so let's do that ping 192.168.2.2 this is the IP address of my router as you can see uh, we can ping the address of our router so let me go to router 2 and here is router 2 we go to privilege mode and I type ping 192.168.2.20 meaning the IP address of my computer in virtual machine as you can see sure enough it pings well so 
this side of my network is fine let's check the other side of the network uh, let's see if we can ping uh, uh, router 1 from PC1 and PC3 and PC2 uh, just I have to mention if you're working in a real lab here you have uh, three different PCs so for these PCs you need to assign uh, you need to configure the default gateway the default gateway will be the IP address of this fast Ethernet a 0 slash 0 of router 1 so here since I'm using routers I don't need to configure that default gateway uh, so let's go to PC uh, 1 meaning this PC and try to ping this uh, supposedly default gateway that we have here so here privilege mode so we ping 192.168.1.1 uh, okay so the first packet drop but uh, this extra rate this time is 100% so I can ping from PC1 let's see if I can ping from PC2 PC2 ping 192.168.1.1 sure enough PC2 also functional and PC3 let's see if PC3 also can ping hopefully it can ping 182.168.1.1 uh, okay PC1 uh, PC3 also is able to ping so this part of our network is functional but if we want this part of the network uh, to be able to ping this part of the network we have to configure a routing protocol on our router so I'm gonna configure the basic routing protocol meaning uh, RIP on these two routers router 1 and uh, router 2 then uh, we'll check if we can uh, ping from PC1 to uh, our server uh, at the moment I'm not able to do that let's try it so if I want to ping to 192.168.2.20 I will not be able to do that uh, because uh, my router 1 has no idea about that network as you can see here uh, what did I do? okay success rate is a zero because router one has no idea about this network so we're gonna uh, we're gonna configure routing protocols uh, so that router one uh, knows this network as well so we go to router one and we configure the basic uh, routing protocol I'm gonna use we go to global configurations I'm gonna use RIP so router RIP uh, I will use version 2 of RIP because it knows about classless addressing so the networks that we're gonna advertise on router 1 are this network meaning 200.100.10.0 and 192.168.1.0 so let's do that network 192.168.1.0 and network 200.100.10.0 so that's all about RIP for uh, router 1 let's go to router 2 uh, here is my router 2 and uh, we go to global configurations uh, router RIP I'm gonna use version 2 uh, remember if you use version 2 on one of the routers and version 1 meaning you forget to uh, type version 2 on the other router your routing protocol will not work both routers should have the same version so here is version 2 now the the networks that I have to advertise on router 2 are 200.100.10.0 and 192.168.2.0 so we'll type network 200.100.10.0 and network 192.168.2.0 so now we are done let's check our routing table and router 2 show IP route to check our routing table now router 2 meaning this this router knows about this network 192.168.1.0 let's go to router 1 and check if router 1 also has the same idea about the whole topology so we type show IP route 
192.168.2.0 through RIP meaning now this network knows about this network so let's check if PC1 can ping uh, CBT with server we go to PC1 and we run the same command okay I think yeah there is a problem here ah yeah the problem is that uh, because I'm using routers here instead of PC if I had PCs they were able to do that but since I'm using routers uh, oh, the, this router has no idea about this network so I have to configure RIP on this, these three routers so that they can ping uh, that network as well uh, but uh, I just emphasize again if you, if you had computer here if you're working in a real lab or you have any computer here then you don't need to configure RIP here but since I'm using a router as my uh, PC I need to configure RIP on this router so that this router knows about that network as well so on PC1, we go to global configurations, then we type router RIP, uh, router RIP version 2, and the network that it has to advertise about is just this network, 192.168.1.0. So 192.168.1.0. Okay. So we're done with router 1. Okay, let's go to PC2. And we do the same thing for PC2. We go to global configurations, router RIP. The version will be 2. And the network that we're going to advertise is 192.168.1.0. Uh, did I configure the same thing for router PC1? 192.168.1.0. Yeah, I thought I typed wrongly. Uh, okay, so we go to PC3 and we do the same thing here. Global configurations, router RIP version will be 2 and network, uh, network is 192.168.1.0. So let's go to PC1. and check our routing table show IP route so now PC1 which is a router knows about this network so if I ping that server now I should be able to uh, get reply from that let's do it ping 192.168.1 uh, uh, sorry 2.20 as you can see here now PC1 can ping that server. So I do the same thing for PC2 and PC3. PC2 uh, ping 192.168.2.20. Sure enough. And let's go on PC3 to check that everything is working. So uh, on PC3 192.168.2.20. Now, uh, if uh, just about this do command, if you don't know about this do command, uh, if you are in any other mode and you want to run a command from different mode, you can use do and run your command. As you can see, ping is a privilege mode command, but I just run ping from global configurations by using do before ping. So I can do that. Now, now the whole network is up and functional. One more thing that I want to uh, uh, I want to uh, test here. I'm gonna ping 192.168.1.2, which is PC1, and I get reply. So everything is working and functional.